The president says that we've made significant gains in the last six months. What do you say? The president's living in a fantasy world when it comes to the threat from radical Islamic terrorism. Uh, it is the case uh, that our airstrikes have uh, made things more difficult for ISIS actors. We have stopped some of the advances on the ground, uh, and in places we've actually pushed them back, uh, but the threat remains. Uh, there continue to be thousands of foreign fighters uh, coming to join ISIS. The air attacks haven't slowed that down at all. Uh, more importantly, their intent, ISIS's intent, hasn't changed. Right? The creation of the global caliphate is something that is deeply embedded in their political ideology. And so whatever the particular tactical situation on the ground, uh, the threat to the United States from radical Islamic terrorism has not diminished, but in fact uh, is far greater today than it was six months or two years ago. What do you think should be done about it? Many Christians have uh, been forced from their homes, people have died. Uh, what should we do that we're not doing? Uh, the list is long. The most important thing America needs to do is steel itself and create the resolve to defeat the global jihadi movement. That takes leadership. <laughs> that takes a president who's prepared to call it what it is, to not talk about this as random acts of violence, who is serious and thoughtful about the approach and recognizes that these folks are intent on creating a global caliphate. That's their mission. They state it very clearly. They're not shy about talking about it. And that means often the destruction of religious freedom around the world. And in Iraq and in Syria, whether it's the Christians or the Yazidis, um, religious freedom has been denied. And at some point, uh, there's the risk that these religions will uh, no longer be in that part of the world. Uh, that would be uh, tragic and it is unnecessary. So this president is not serious. This president is not serious in his efforts to defeat radical Islamic terrorism. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I, I, uh, in some sense, in some sense, uh, what matters is not his rationale, but his policies, his actions. Uh, just today, uh, he sent to the uh, Congress a request for the authorization for the use of military force. That document. Um, actually asked Congress to restrict his authorities further than they're already restricted today. Never in history has a president asked Congress to prevent him from taking actions against the threat of the staggering nature, nature that is radical Islamic terrorism. I don't know why the president has persisted in his naive view of this threat, but I do know it's dangerous. Will that bill pass? Uh, no, uh, there'll, 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 there'll be a lot of work, there'll be a lot of hearings. We're going to talk about how to best support this president. We want America to be successful in defeating radical Islamic terrorism. Um, but the authorization he presented has lots of shortcomings that we're going to need to fix. Okay. Congressman Pompeo, thank you so much. Thank you, sir.